in this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about your digital life 2.0. Hello and welcome to episode 135 of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I have a very special episode for you because in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to set up your Todoist so that you can follow along in my recently published book. Actually, I say recently, it's going to be published tomorrow, the 11th of December. So if you haven't obviously bought the book yet, but if you want to know how to set up your Todoist so that it will work with your Digital Life 2.0 setup or system, then this is the episode for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through how I use my Todoist. I suppose this is the end of 2017 version although it hasn't really changed since I last did the kind of episode like this, but I've really stripped it down so that I can show you how to get the basic setup for those of you guys out there planning to buy my book tomorrow, Your Digital Life 2.0. The links will be in the show notes below so you can have a look at that. And I really just want to help you guys. If you have no intention of buying the book, that's perfectly okay. This episode will still be able to help you because I'm just going to show you a really, really good setup for Todoist so that you can get the important things done. You can get your goals organized, your daily routine activities organized, and all the projects that you are working on all organized in one central place, which is what it's all about. Okay, before we go any further, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Todoist and I'll show you how to set up the basics of a fantastic productivity system. Before we get started, I should point out that in Your Digital Life 2.0, I am not necessarily recommending only Todoist. This system will work in any to-do list management application. So although I use, personally, I use Todoist, this is not necessarily a system that is going to work only on Todoist. This system will work with almost any application out there, whether it's OmniFocus, Things, Trello, Asana, Wunderlist, or whatever to-do list manager you choose to use, then this system will work within those applications. So the way that Todoist is set up, you've got your inbox, your today and next seven days up here. These are standard features, they are default and they are always up there. So as I process, uh, these are the things that I've collected in the last 24 hours. I will process them at some point today, um, but there's nothing uh, too difficult in there that's just things that I have collected my today list is here these are the things I have to do today and then I have the next seven days the thing I really want to focus on today is how I've got the set up the project folders uh, as I describe it in uh, your digital life so the first one is I have my routines at the top so these are separated out into their daily weekly monthly and I have my weekly review down here which essentially has one note in there and it just tells me to do my weekly review. However, this is actually linked to a note in Evernote, which gives me a checklist I can use. Although these days, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't really need the checklist because I know I've been doing a weekly review for many, many years, and so I don't really need it. So there we go, we got my daily routine tasks, things that, that don't move my life further forward, but just have to be done. I got my weekly ones here, again, things that don't necessarily take my life further forward, but just need to be done monthly here, and then I've got my weekly review. So the routines project, main project is set up here with my daily, weekly, monthly, and weekly review checklist if you like or my routine tasks so that gets rid of all my mundane must be done routine tasks but don't improve my life 
Next up, I have my work uh, <coughs> work project, main work project folder here. And inside there, I have the three projects that I'm working on at the moment. Your Digital Life 2.0, which is going to be a project clearly is going to finish very soon uh, once I finish this launch window. Uh, so early January, that will come out and will be archived. Uh, FES Refresh, FES is my uh, language consultancy or communication consultancy company. And we're doing a refresh uh, in the early new year. So I'm just planning that out at the moment. Gungi University is a uh, is a university that I teach at uh, once a week. Uh, I wrote a book uh, called uh, Business Creativity, and we are teaching a creativity course at that university. So it's current project, but again, at the end of this year, that will come out. And as I mentioned, I have a singles action in here. This is just work related singles action. So I've got to contact Liam in the new year about a collab on online business English, which we're going to do in the early new year. That's going to come up on the 5th of January. So it's just in there to come up when it needs to come up. So that's my work folder. We're at the end of the year now. So there's nothing actually new in there because I'm trying to uh, tail off the new end of the year so I can actually have a, uh, a couple of weeks break at the end. So that's just tailing off my home project folder Ireland 2017. I am going to Ireland um, in the very near future. And so this is just the things that I want to add in there at the moment. There's nothing, but I will be adding tasks this week because now uh, I need to get ready for that. Range Rover Velar is the car that we want to buy. So that's getting uh, all sorted out at the moment. Project 2020 is a project that my wife and I have uh, that we want to work on. Again, there's nothing in there, but it's a project that is going to become very active in the next few days. So again, I've set up the project ready to go. And again, I've got my single actions in here. So um, I've got a few things that I need to do that are in here that I'm going to get working on, hopefully over the next couple of weeks before the end of the year. So that's my home projects folder. Areas of focus, as I mentioned in the book, this is for things that are not uh, time specific. I.e., The project isn't likely to end, but it's just something that you want to keep an eye on. Um, these can be related to your hobbies. So in here I've got CPP, which is for, for Carl Pauline Productivity. My online courses I keep in here because I continue, intend to continue updating them as time goes by. My students affairs in here, it could actually also go into my work folder, but students, uh, it's a project that's just never going to end. FES stuff can be things that I've got at the moment is to redesign our name cards. Again, it's something I will get around to in the next few weeks. My personal website details are here. Uh, for those of you who followed my channel for a while, you know that I have a, a rather uh, probably unhealthy um, fascination and interest in shoes and particularly cleaning and maintaining shoes. So I actually have a project here where it tells me when I need to clean my, my shoes that I need to be cleaned. And of course, I've got my exercise, which at the moment is just a review exercise goals. Again, if you notice here, this is actually set up for the 26th of December. So this project could start filling up again uh, into the after that particular date. And we move on to my goals. So I have my objectives, which I covered in a video last week. So I don't need to go into too much detail there. I've got my daily disciplines, which is a project that I'm not actually focusing too much on at the moment, and it may get dropped. I've got my professional, my personal goals, and these are all set up as per the actual um, thing, as per the book. My personal goals, again, also set up there. So we've got uh, the Range Rover Velar is there. It's a personal goal. And I've got my financial goals. So everything is in there in terms of my goals. And it's something that I review every single week. Uh, checklist. Now, I did cover a video a few weeks ago about this. Uh, my checklist is not necessarily checklist. I have a maintenance in here, which are things that I need to review. Again, that's going to come up on the 23rd. I have a presentations checklist in here, which actually at the moment doesn't have anything in. But if I have a presentation coming up, then I will add in the things that I need to remember for that particular presentation. I keep my books to buy list in my checklist because I see it as a checklist. <laughs> Maybe some people don't, but I actually do see it as a checklist. Videos to watch again, things that I want to watch over the next few weeks, uh, music to listen to and courses to take. I also have here journal next action. Now, when I write my journal, there are some things that I suddenly decide that I actually want to do in the future. 
Now, these could actually get dropped into my someday maybe, but I do like to have this in my checklist because checklist is something I check every week in my weekly review, but my someday maybe folder is not something that I would check every week. Maybe check that every month or every two months. So, so I put my journal next actions here. These are just things that I want to do or tasks or actions that occur to me when I'm writing my journal at the end of the day, and I can just collect them all into one central place, i.e. in Todoist. But essentially what I wanted to show you in this video is how my project set up. I've shown you now how I'm using my projects, but now you can see I've got routines at the top, then the work folder, then home, then areas of focus, goals, checklist, and someday maybe. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. This is how to set up a basic productivity system as I have written about in your Digital Life 2.0. Details of the book are below in the notes section below. If you want to buy a copy, then you can buy it on Amazon, iBookstore, or directly from my website. Entirely up to you. If you don't, then at least you've got something from the book in this video for free uh, so that you can actually set about deciding how to set your own system up. But before we finish this, I really want to stress, you need to create a system that works for you. This system is a good framework to start you off with, but by all means, if it's not working exactly how you want it, for example, if you don't feel comfortable separating out your routines from your main projects, that's perfectly fine. But this is just a good framework to get you started in the right area. Okay, if you have any questions about this setup, please feel free to leave any questions you like in the comment section below. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.